What's going on people? David Durang here, also known as David the Travel Guy on IG. I do travel related content and uh, I'm a world traveler. I've been to so many places. I'm also a, a travel author now of my new book, Travel Like Travel Far, to places unimaginable. But today we are here for none other than my review on Aruba. So guys, thank you for tuning in. And like I said, today's video is about Aruba. It's a place where I've been before. And last week, it made my second uh, stop there, my second visit there. So I, don't, I did a video on the rule before, but you know, some, here's some new information, and I want to kind of bring people up to speed on what they should know if they want to go there. So I'll begin a little with some history, and then I'll go more into uh, numbers, so you can see if Aruba has what you need for a vacation spot. First thing first, Aruba is the is a constituent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Aruba is technically still part of the Netherlands. Also, if you ever hear ABC um, Islands, think that's Aruba, that's Bonaire, that's Carousel. Those three countries, people will refer to as ABC Islands, I do too. They're also known as um, Dutch Caribbean and also St. Martin is a part of that too. St. Martin, half of that island is French and half is Dutch, uh, but all those countries are considered uh, the Dutch, Dutch Caribbean. People of these countries are also considered Dutch nationals. So if people say, you know, Aruba is a little expensive, it might be because of that, but I'll get into that later. The official language is Dutch, but it's also their own language, Papimento. And it's, 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 a, it's a Creole, if you will, not like a Haitian Creole, but Creole meaning like a mixture. So it's Dutch and uh, Spanish and just different languages that they made for themselves. And what does the demographic of the island look like? And it's funny, when you're there, you really don't know who's a local. There's so many different types of people. People look different. But 66% of their population is Aruba. Uh, their total population is it's over uh, 112,000 people. So 66% is Aruba. I was surprised of this, but 9.1% of their population is Colombian. 4.1% is Dominican. 3.2% is Venezuelan. 1.5% uh, is Haitian. I think 1.2% it's a uh, ceremony, 1.1 Peruvian and 1.1 Chinese. Pretty interesting. There's a lot of Chinese businesses on the island, especially if you, you're you able to go out of the tourist areas. You'll see that most of the grocery stores and uh, laundromats, uh, discount stores, whatever. For people who are well-traveled in Latin America, you know this to be uh, the way of life in a lot of countries. Uh, the Chinese people are business owners all over Latin America. Central South America, Caribbean, they're all over the place. So that's to be expected. And their currency, so as far as currency, they do have their own currency, but they also use American US dollar. So you don't, that's one of the places where you don't have to worry about, do I change too much? Did I change too little? You can use your dollar anywhere you go. It's fine. Their currency is called Florin, a Ruben, a Ruben Florin. And so, but you don't have to worry about it if you have an American dollar. The capital is Amistad, they have North, they have St. Nicholas, they have Santa Cruz, they have Sabaneta. These are like different areas. If you're, if you're gonna be, um, f for tourist purposes, You'll mostly probably be in downtown, which is like the Orange Dot area where the cruise ships dock and the souvenir shops lined up. There's high-end fashion retail there, there's restaurants. Everything in the vicinity that will help tourists just, you know, not have to go too far. Now on to Aruba. So the great thing about Aruba is, it's one of those places that is so easy to get in. You know, literally when I deplaned and when I went to, through immigration, now immigration, there's a line that forms with ropes and 
you're not waiting for an agent at that point. You're literally scanning your passport, smiling, and you're going. Then you have to go pick up your bags. I don't check bags. I have, I always go with two carry-ons to make the process easier. You know, I don't want to wait too much. Then from there, you go to customs. You know, they, if you have anything to declare. Now, customs has these two machines there that scans your bag as you're walking out. But on this trip, they just told us to walk right through. We didn't have to put our bags. And literally, I'll say 15 feet, you're right there out. Basically, you can be out on the street in 15 feet. Pretty, pretty reasonable and easy to get in. Not a lot of questions on why are you here, who you work for, not a lot of questions. Amazing. Once you exit the airport, you have your rental car options or you have your taxi options. The first time I went to Aruba, I didn't rent a car. I took a taxi to my hotel or bed and breakfast. And then I just stayed in the area. This time I rented a car. Uh, um, upon arriving, I didn't have, I didn't know I was gonna rent a car, but I decided last minute. I went on kayak.com. I was gonna book a, I was gonna book a car with budget because the prices were cheap, and I've been using uh, budget for like a decade. So when the app was trying to process everything, but it wasn't going through, I was thinking it was, it was because of the internet. So I figured once I get into budget, I can um, it will process by that point. And I could just wait online and, you know, they'll find my reservation. And online, I saw that the car was about, I'll say like, it was between $35 to $45 a day. So I said, oh, God, I'll go for that. Went online and the customer's rep of Aruba said, um, if I just booked it, it won't go through. Like, they won't get it. It has to be 24 hours. So I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't use the prices online. So I said, okay, how much would it be for three days? And for three days, she she said over $200. And I heard the person next to me was getting their car for less than 200 and for, for more days, for like an extra day. I was leaving on Saturday. The other person was leaving on Sunday. They quoted that person less. Anyway, so I just left and the line was long. I just left, There was there's another rental car company called Amigos or Amigas that I went to. And for the same time frame, everything included the insurance was 157. So 157 compared to somewhere around 220. Look at the money I saved. No one was in that Amigas or Amigos um, rental car company. No one was there. I was the only one to walk right in. I was served people that were behind me were still waiting it worked out like a charm so that you can see the price difference um, when you get to Aruba if you can check some of the local car companies you can save a little more as far as accommodations I, I mentioned like the first time I went was a smaller hotel in the capital this time was in the north um, the area of like the high rise hotel, the chains hotels in the Holiday Inn. So it was about, it was over a thousand. So this is what you have to deal with. You have to, these are your options. The high rise hotels, they're all gonna be over a thousand dollars. You might get a deal if you do it early, but they're gonna be in that, that, that ballpark, mainly because these places, like I mentioned, you know, Dutch Caribbean or anytime the Dutch or the English, they kind of oversee these islands, they, they still heavily tax these islands. So not only does the business have to make money, but the compounded is, is the taxes. So you pay more because they, they pay more, pretty much. So that's that. Now, in terms of food, your food options are fast food, American fast food, McDonald's, Burger King. They have everything. Pizza Hut, Domino's, Taco Bell. I even saw Quiznos and Subway. You have those options and then you have restaurants. The restaurants are gonna cost you just like if you were in New York. 
you know, the meals, for example, at, a, at like a regular restaurant, our, one of our nice meals, dinners, was about, I think it was like 30 to $40 a plate for like, let's just say the meat by itself. I don't eat meat anymore, but let's just say for the fish, it was about 30 bucks by itself. Everything else that you want is add-ons. By the time you do that, drinks, whatever the case may be, taxes, tip is over a hundred bucks. That just to give you an idea. For breakfast, for two people in our hotel, like there's a restaurant, it was about 45 bucks for breakfast. So you're starting off the day, boom, $45 for a breakfast buffet. Or there's also Denny's as well in that area, the high rise area. Denny's, if you guys are not familiar with, is like IHOP. Denny's is about the same price as over here and it was less than $30. As far as activities, there's all type of activities in Aruba. There's uh, all type of water sports, zip lining, all these things. They're, they hover around like a hundred bucks. Me, personally, I like to do uh, off-road stuff. So the first time I went to Aruba, I went to the motorcycle. Uh, I think it was, was it a Honda or a Kawasaki? I forget. No, Yamaha, Yamaha. Because George is, is the place where I rent before and, and again. And the first time I had a motorcycle, I went to the motorcycle down to Aruba. In that place, you need a motorcycle license. I have one. If you don't, you're still good. You can ride other stuff, scooters, ATVs, all these other things. This time around, I got an ATV. It was $95 for four hours. For a full day, nine to five, it's 125. And the first time I thought that they do a major hold, but that's not the case. They ask you for your hotel room that you, and the hotel you're staying in, the room, and a credit card on file, you know, for incidentals. That's the major part. Um, if you're a young person, you're looking to turn up. Aruba's not really that kind of spot. Literally, there's a lot of places in that hotel area that are open just between 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. So, it's not really a turn up spot. It's for people that's pushing 40, want to chill out, do a few things, enjoy the weather, enjoy the atmosphere. That's for you. But turn up, turn it up, that's not it. In other islands where you turn up, 10 o'clock people are not even out. You know, people are turning up one, two, three, four regular times. Aruba is not that spot if that's what you're looking for. Lastly, um, the only thing now, remember I said getting into Aruba is pretty easy, quick process. Going back, do give yourself some time. I know they say, uh, they used to say back in the day when uh, for domestic flights, come over an hour, you know, before your flight departs. And then international is at least two hours or more. Really give your time, yourself time for Aruba because the process does take longer. When you get, when you want to depart, make sure you go to the right departure building. Then you get your ticket from any kiosk. If you're not checking bags, that's what I love. That, that, that did save me some time. And then you have to go right back outside. There's lines forming to, uh, you have to show your, show your ticket. You go in, you, your, your first screening, the line is long, you go through the first screening from the Aruban officials, I'll say, or their equivalent of TSA. You think you're all good, like, oh, that wasn't that bad. Then you do some walking and long line again. Oh, before that long line, you get your bags. You take your bags with you uh, to passport control. Now, the Americans are there to screen you. That room is there's a lot you're gonna be in there for like 35 or 40 minutes alone because once you enter usually when you go into customs or immigration the line starts from back and you work yourself to the front to the agent but no you go to the front you work your way to the back of the room and then you cross over and then it gets fed to the different agents so it does take a lot of time but the good thing is look on the bright side when you do get to the u.s you don't have to go through immigration so that's the great thing about that system and i love it because once i did arrive i, I had time to wait if i wanted to get something to eat it was all good especially if you have tight connections it helps that you don't have to uh, go to immigration check your stuff in again you did it all at one time that was amazing so i hope i helped you guys consider Aruba as a location. If you have any other questions, maybe I didn't go over something, maybe something was unclear, please uh, leave it down in the comments.
comment section and I'll be able to help you. Till next time, David Durang, over and out.